He's awake now. Let's meet tonight on the fourth floor. Okay. All right then, I'll see you later. Damn that Ryoji. Is everyone present? Are you okay, Ryoji-kun? Yeah, I'm okay. Thanks. Besides, there's more I have to tell you guys. Ryoji-kun? Yes, there are many questions we need answered. To begin with, you said shadows were here to facilitate the rebirth of the maternal being. Please elaborate on this. The maternal being is called Nyx. Who the hell's Nyx? Nyx is the mother of shadows. In ancient times, she bestowed death to this world. If she is awakened, darkness will once again cover the land and all life will vanish. You mean everyone will die? All life will vanish? Then that must mean... fall. But it's still possible to keep it from happening, right? What? There's no way to prevent it? I'm sorry. Wait, what are you apologizing for? Are you saying it's for certain? Yes. You heard the bell. I'm the appraiser. The appraiser of death. My existence is the affirmation of the fall. When? When will it happen? I'm afraid you will not live to see spring. But that's not too far away. <laughs> what are you guys freaking out about? All we have to do is defeat this Nyx. And that won't be a problem, because we've never lost. Defeating Nyx is impossible. It has nothing to do with strength, ability, or power. Just as all living things die, and the flow of time is continuous, Nyx cannot be defeated. What? That's bullshit! This is all so sudden. I was born from a collection of shadows, but now I have a human form, so I can talk with you, laugh with you, cry with you. All gifts I received because I was inside him. So, I can give you a choice. A choice? Nyx's coming cannot be avoided, but it is possible to live in peace until she arrives. You'll have to... kill me. If I were to disappear, all memories of the Dark Hour would disappear with me. As would any recollection of the fate that awaits you. You won't remember anything. The coming of the Fall will be instantaneous, and you will not suffer. We'll forget everything? You'll be able to return to your normal lives. And in doing so, the time until the Fall will be slightly delayed. In essence, I am the same as Nyx and cannot be killed. But thanks to him, there's a part of me that's human. 
So if death comes from his hands, I think it may be possible. Ryoji-kun! If you don't kill me, you will suffer more than you could ever imagine. With no hope for salvation, you will live every day paralyzed by the fear of your impending death. And I... I don't want you to have to endure such pain. I don't want my memories to be erased. To forget everything would be like hiding from the truth. Would that really be such a bad thing? All that awaits you now is despair. You don't know the terror of absolute death. Please, don't make your decision without at least thinking about what I've said. <sighs> Why is this happening? You don't have to decide right now. You have until December 31st, New Year's Eve, to think about it. After that, I'll dissolve into the blackness of the dark hour and become intangible. Ryoji? I will disappear with the coming of Nyx anyways. So don't worry about me. I'll be back on New Year's Eve. Ryoji, wait! Wait! I can't sense him anymore. Ryoji-kun's no longer here. Are you sure? Yes. Ryoji-kun. We will see him again on New Year's Eve.
student dormitory where you spend your days? This is your room. I've never seen many of these things before. Anyway, regarding my request to visit your room, well, did it make you a little suspicious? I see. I do have something I'd like to talk to you about. During my forays into your world, I encountered many things. All of them are treasured memories, each one a polished glittering gem. Walking around the crowded Port Island streets, Sampling the local cuisine, idling the hours away at the shrine, even attending your school for a day. That's when I came to a realization. I had subconsciously been requesting to visit places that were more and more central to your life. And so today, I requested to visit the one place in your world that I could learn the most about you. I request to visit your room. If I may be so bold. Do you recall the day you gave me a tour of your school? How I mentioned that I felt very fulfilled when I touched you? It was the first time I ever felt that way. Why did I feel so fulfilled? After coming here, I can finally answer that question. I believe it's because I could feel what you feel and truly experience your life for the first time. We who reside in the Velvet Room wait with great anticipation for guests. Their arrival is our only link to the outside world and gives us a reason to be. By touching you like this, I can have that all for myself. I'll put it more plainly. I'm naive to the ways of your world and there must have been many times I seem to act quite strangely. However, even I am not blind to the significance of calling upon a gentleman in his own room. If you wouldn't mind, I'd like you to guide me through it. Thank you. a completely different person than the Elizabeth who first stepped into your world. <sighs> if I stay on this side any longer, I fear I will forget my duties entirely. And that would put you at a severe disadvantage, wouldn't it? That is why I'll draw a line under my visits here and remain on my side from now on. Thank you very much for acting as a guide on my journey of discovery. I'm very grateful. Now then, though the sorrow may be sweet, let us part.
Hi, how was your day?
away. Well, it's been a week. What are we gonna do? You okay, Fuka? You just seem so calm. We have to make a decision. I mean, it's been such a drag around here lately, and no one will go to Tartarus. You're right. We humans are quite resilient. We can adapt to any situation given enough time. So how about it, everyone? Why don't we talk about it? Have you made your decision, Sunada-san? No. But I don't plan on running away. So you're going to fight Nyx? I don't know. I mean, it's supposedly undefeatable. What about you? What are your thoughts on it? Honestly, this is the first time I've ever really contemplated my own death. It's quite a sobering thought. I don't want to suffer. And I don't want to kill Ryoji. But either way, we still die. So there is no simple answer. Then do we all agree that we don't want to hurt Ryoji-kun? Is that how you feel? Well, I... um... It's okay, Fuka. I mean, it's not natural to choose how you're going to die. What about you, Junpei? Have you decided? No. What's the matter? Scared? What the hell do you mean by that? You think this is a joke? Junpei, I... We're going to die! Of course I'm scared! You all need to wake up! This is death we're talking about here! Then what do you want to do? Do you want to kill him? There's nothing I can do. He's the only one who can kill him. Come to think of it, it's all your fault. You had that thing inside you and didn't even know it. You raised it, damn it. This is all your fault. So you should do something about it. You're supposed to be special, right? Stop it, Junpei! It's not his fault. And the only reason we've even been given a choice is because he carried it. I know that, damn it, but... I'm sorry I teased you, Junpei. I was just trying to lighten up the situation. Personally, I don't want to forget everything. I've learned so much since coming here. I've never really talked about this before, but my old man was an alcoholic. Started drinking after he was tricked into investing his life savings into some telemarketing scam. He drank until he passed out so he didn't have to face reality. And I hated him for it. Now, I understand how he felt. 
Everything seems hopeless. I'm so scared. I know how you feel, Junpei-kun. I'm scared too. Yeah, we're all scared. Yes. I, I can't stop shaking. Me either. Yukatan. All right. I don't think we're prepared to make a decision just yet. Ryoji said he'll be back on New Year's Eve, so we still have some time to think about it. So until then, let's just try to live our lives as normally as possible. Welcome back.
Where have you been? What's up, dude?
Welcome back. Yes, who is it? It's me. Oh. You don't stop by very often, senpai. Is something wrong? No. I just wanted to talk. Aw, are you feeling won't we? Hey, are you teasing me? No! Well, maybe just a little. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what this Nyx is like. Hey, do you think it's inside Tartarus? I have no idea. Oh, by the way, I've made my decision. I want to fight to the end. It's better than doing nothing. That's why you're here, isn't it, Senpai? To talk about our decision? I... I guess it is. <laughs> You're so easy to read. I've made my decision as well. Kirijo is making great strides to turn itself around. After I graduate, I plan to assume leadership of the group and continue where my father left off. I cannot turn back now, even if I wanted to. But what if you die? If I die defeating Nyx, then the Kirijo group will have to continue on without me. But I am confident they would fulfill my wishes. Ryoji said Nyx can't be defeated. But I kind of wonder about that. I don't think our special member can be killed either. I agree. Death dwelled within him, amplifying his abilities. Though he was exceptional to begin with. He's an interesting guy, huh? Yes, he is. You know, if things don't work out, I think I'll still be okay as long as I'm with everyone. Honestly, it doesn't matter whether or not we die. All that matters is that we're proud of how we lived. And I'd be proud if we decided to fight Nyx. Does your decision have anything to do with your father? Hmm, a little. But it's more about me and how I feel. I understand. Senpai, when we were in Kyoto, you asked me to stand by your side. Do you remember? Yes, I remember. We will fight together, Yukari. Together.
Welcome back.
I thought you were going to go visit your mother's grave. Oh, hi, Sonata-san. Is this where you should be? Well, I was planning to. But when I thought about what I was going to say to her, it just didn't feel right. There are things I still need to do before I talk to her again. Yeah, same here. I don't have anything I need to tell Shinji right now. I have my own stuff to deal with. An undefeatable enemy, huh? Gosh, I wonder what it's like. You got me. But it doesn't matter, because I've made up my mind. I'm gonna look it straight in the eyes. Straight in the eyes. I like the sound of that. You can count me in, too.
Where have you been?
Welcome back. Ah, oh, hey, Fuka. What are you doing here? Nothing, really. I come here when I'm feeling down. Is that Chidori's sketchbook? Yeah. This is where I first met her. What are you doing here, Fuka? Oh, I went home for a bit. I've been going back there a lot lately. I see. You know, you've really changed, Fuka. You're totally different from when you first came to the dorm. Really? Yeah, you were so timid back then. But now you're so... strong. You've changed too, Junpei-kun. Yukatan said the same thing, but I don't think so. I mean, just the other day, I got all freaked out about being scared. I am such a wuss. <laughs> That's not true. But I really was scared. Actually, I'm still scared. But after thinking about it, I realized that I don't want to lose my memory. If I forget everything, that means I'll forget Chidori, too. And I wouldn't even be alive right now if it wasn't for her, you know? So I say F that. You're scared because you're not running away. That's nothing to be ashamed of. Fuka. That's why I want to protect everyone. Think about it. The Dark Hour is really scary, too, isn't it? But our persona's awakened, and we're here today. The future hasn't been decided yet. And I want to be true to myself. True to yourself? You're really something, Fuka. We should fight. I agree.
Hi, how was your day? Hi, how was your day?
up, dude. Hey, it's me. Can I talk to you? Hey, I have good news. I guess is coming back today. Mitsuru Senpai said her wounds have finally healed. We're meeting in the lounge tonight. Don't forget, okay? See ya! back everyone sorry to have worried you all man i'm glad to see you i was getting nervous me too i was fearing the worst 
I'm a machine, so I can always be rebuilt. Even if I was completely destroyed, the programming data necessary to recreate me would still exist. Hey, don't talk about yourself like that. They said another week would be required for a complete recovery, but I had the process expedited. Tomorrow is New Year's Eve. I'm sorry for all the trouble I've caused. Mitsuru-san visited me at the lab and told me everything. That must have been difficult for you all to hear. Have you been well? I mean, considering the circumstances. Ten years ago, I... What I did to you was... But, if I hadn't done that to you, you wouldn't be suffering like this. Ryoji has presented you with a difficult choice. Have you made your decision? I have a favor to ask of you. Tomorrow, when Ryoji comes, please, please kill him. I can't bear to see everyone hurting like this. Please choose to have your memories erased. Even if... Even if it means forgetting everything. And everyone. I guess, what are you talking about? Yeah, this isn't like you. What's wrong, I guess? Why? Why did I come back here? My mission is to protect humanity from shadows. But now I know that I can't defeat them. So then, why am I here? I'm useless. I cannot even shed a tear for you all. Oh, I guess. Why fight when you know that you can't win? What is the purpose of that? Why are you wasting your lives? We're not wasting our lives. We're just planning for the future, right, Ken? Right. I... I don't understand. It must be because I don't possess a life. <laughs> this has nothing to do with having a life. I'm a machine. A machine that was created to protect humans from shadows. But I can't fulfill that mission with the powers I was given. So then, what is my purpose now? Could someone please tell me? We don't know the answer, I guess. The only one who can tell you what your purpose is, is you. That's why we're having such a hard time making our decision. There's just no easy answer. But as long as we're alive, we have to do something. When we see others hurting, we want to help them. So that's our purpose. Can finding one's purpose really be so simple? When I saw you collapse, I realized something. I want to protect you. I don't want to forget about you. Fuka-san. There are times when you will lose sight of your goal, and you will have to search for it. But if you can't find it again, then you must set your heart on a new goal. To truly live, you will need to make changes sometimes. Do you think I can do that? Do you think I can change? Yes. I mean, you've changed so much already. Haven't you noticed? In fact, you're changing even as we speak. I 
I know what my purpose is. I'm a machine, a machine who is here to live. And the one who has given me this new purpose is me. I guess this is the promise I've made to myself. I don't know how I'll do it, but I guess that is part of living too. Will you allow me to join with you all? Of course, you've always been one of us. Thank you. I will be with you all, no matter what happens. Hey, long time no see. Midnight's just around the corner. At midnight, I will change from this form into something unrecognizable. So, have you reached a decision? Okay, I'll be waiting in his room until midnight. Come see me when you have your answer. Ryoji-kun. Oh, and one more thing. Don't let the fact that you'll have to kill me influence your decision. As I said before, I'm going to disappear anyways. I won't feel any pain by dying. So there's no need to worry about me. I'll be waiting. Have you made your decision? I see. 
Have the rest of you made your decision? No need to ask me. You know how I feel. I wouldn't be here if I wasn't on board. I'm with the rest of you. I'm in too. I have made my decision as well. Then we're all in agreement, yes? Better let him know then. Okay? Hey. It's been a long time since we talked like this in your room. Although back then, I didn't appear in this form, and wasn't known by this name. Don't tell me you've all decided to let me live. You're all going to risk your lives on a battle you can't win. But you're the only one here right now, so... I'll say this one more time. If you kill me, Tartarus, the Dark Hour, and your memories of the battles will all disappear. Tomorrow, you'll wake up a normal high school student. You'll be able to live in peace until the moment of the fall. But if you let me live, you'll spend every waking moment until that day in fear of your inevitable death. Nyx cannot be defeated. It's useless to fight her. Are you still thinking? Or have you already made up your mind? I guess my words didn't change your mind. There's still some time until midnight. I didn't want to have to show you this, but I have no choice. See? I'm not human. I will bring death to this world until I am finally satiated. Do not hesitate to kill me. I want you to think about this carefully. Is facing Nyx really the best decision? Right now you are all confused by the truth. But some things in this world cannot be changed. You do not understand this yet. Memories are ambiguous. Old ones can be replaced with new ones, creating a new reality. Don't you want to end all your friends' pain and suffering? It's up to you. You are the only one who can make this decision. Now, this is your last chance. Tell me your answer. So, you understand. I think that looking to the future is a great way to live. But that doesn't mean that other ways of living are wrong. No one knows which road leads to happiness. I'm glad I met you. This must be what it means to feel happy. Thanks for everything. But of course, you never miss a day of school. Man, can you believe this year's already over? We're practically seniors now. It's just one more year. You think anything interesting will happen? I hope you're right. But seeing the current seniors makes me wonder. Seems like all they frickin' do is study. Talk about boring. Is that gonna be us next year? 
Why do I feel like I'm forgetting something? Hey, is that girl looking at us? Dude, she's pretty cute. How come I never noticed her before? What are you talking about? She lives in the same dorm as us. Seriously? Uh, what's her name then? I don't know. So then why are you giving me a hard time? Anyway... It's always crazy in the dorms this time of year, with so many people coming and going. Oh yeah, did you hear? Akihiko Senpai's moving out. You know, the captain of the boxing team. I know who he is, but I haven't really talked to him. Of course, all the graduates are leaving, even Kirijo Senpai. Miss Student Council President. She's in our dorm too, huh? Hey there! Are you looking at us? Is something wrong? Um... It's nothing. She looks kinda depressed, doesn't she? Wait, do you think she might be interested in one of us? <laughs> I doubt it! Ouch! That hurts! Next, a word from the valedictorian. From Class D, Mitsuru Kurijo. Thank you. This last year, I accepted an important responsibility as Student Council President. When I first addressed you from this podium, I spoke to you all about seizing opportunity while you had the chance. Well, it must have been fate that intervened and gave me an important reminder of this. As many of you may know, my father unexpectedly passed away due to illness. To tell you the truth, after losing my father, I also lost much of my self-confidence. You see, I had overestimated my ability to handle everything alone. Few people can be that strong. There are times when we cannot stand without the support of others. After my father's death, I received kind words from many people. You all taught me the value of allowing yourself to be cared for and protected. I would like to continue going forward with the support of those around me. For us graduates, it was truly an honor to share the last three years with all of you. Thank you so much for those wonderful years. She seems kind of bum, doesn't she? I guess even presidents cry too. Hey, Where's that girl? What are you talking about? You know, th the girl we saw the other day. I assume she'd be here. Oh, her. Well, there's a lot of people who aren't here. Actually, I'm surprised you didn't skip. Heh, <laughs> I thought about it. Anyway, next year will be our turn. What have you got planned, Yucatan? College? Hmm... I haven't really decided yet. What about you? <laughs> That's what I thought. You know how the president was crying? Well, I can sort of relate, since my dad passed away too. 
but that stuff she said about seizing opportunities? Give me a break. We're only in high school. I mean, yeah, it's important, but can it wait a few years? Well, at least one of us knows what he wants. You seem to be getting along pretty well with a certain someone, if you know what I mean. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? I don't know. You tell me. But anyway, there's really no hurry to decide what we want to do with our lives, right? I mean, high school's hard enough as it is. Yeah, I can agree with that. Here's what I think. Sometimes you're better off not knowing. As they say, ignorance is bliss. Besides, you can't always be thinking about the future. In the end, it doesn't matter as long as you're happy. You've got to live in the moment. Carpe diem, right? Yeah, I guess so. Woo, that was some speech. <laughs> to be honest, I'm not that strong of a person. That's why I get worked up so easily. It's hard to explain. It's just the way I am. Hey, I know where you're coming from. Thinking about stuff like that just gives me a headache. So I try to avoid it as much as possible. <laughs> now that's the Junpei we all know and love. Everyone's so uptight these days. They just need to chill out. You know, take it easy for a change. What are you gonna do if that plan backfires? Well, that'll be that. But for now, let the good times roll. Karaoke, anyone? Let's celebrate our future. A graduation party, huh? I'll go if he goes. Well, in that case, I won't take no for an answer. I'll buy you a drink, all right? I'm not